to suck a femboy's cock so bad please let me fuck a femboy please 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 it 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 please I had to unplug my headset good fucking morning boys good fucking morning ladies how are we all doing today on this most beautiful of days which is a Saturday, which is a nice day, right? I learned how to link yesterday. Uh, yeah, that is a problem. And not just for me, but for everyone. Big problem. <sighs> we good, chilling, yes. Grillin, Dylan, uh, yes. What is that sound? What sound? Uh, that sound. I don't know what that sound is. What is that sound? Uh, ich habe keine Ahnung. Uh, uh, espera un momento, por favor. What the fuck is that sound? Oh. Oh, I think it's my, I think it's my mic. Hang on. Hey, Cartman Sim. Since you are getting sued by the Snow Day Divs and had to delete the VOD, I will donate this honorary link before you become homeless from the lawsuit. Surely you can but another house. <sighs> Alright. Uh no, it was shut the fire up first of all. Alright. I'm not getting sued. Alright. I'm suing you for being retarded on my domain uh, and second of all there was the fucking feathers of the microphone that were like I'm afraid they were like snap or some shit I don't know uh, uh Sorry, uh, not feathers, uh, springs uh, in English, but we call them feathers in Swedish, the springs. On the microphone stand. Or Wanna maybe. become famous? My uh, followers, primes and no. views on bigfollows.com. Bigfollows.com. I don't want com. to be famous. <sighs> My God. Uh, you highlighted yesterday's VOD instead of just uh, uploading it as a regular VOD. Why did you do this? Are you senile? Uh, did I? Uh, what? Bro, I don't know how this Sumer shit works. Alright, give me a second. What? How do I access my fucking VODs? That's my stream. Alright. Okay, let's see here. Videos. Uh, okay. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. Uh. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now it's uh, unpublished. Okay. That was the whole point with the leading the vault. Because I 
I played more of the South Park game than I was sponsored to play, and uh, apparently they, uh, we played too much because we had an early release copy, you know. Uh, so, yes. Do you recommend Peaky Blinders? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, if you just watch three seasons or two seasons, it's still enough time well spent. I I don't I don't remember when I stopped watching it, but yeah, it became fairly slow. Maybe season three. I don't know. Yeah, I think season three. Maybe. I don't know. It, it's it's all right, man. It's all right. Supposedly the best actor of our generation, according to some. I don't know about that. Same one role in every single movie. Christian Bale. No one has Christian Bale. Fucking Scarecrow. I don't know his name. Not Tom Hardy, even though Tom Hardy is in that show too, yeah. Yeah, that guy. Cillian Murphy. Uh, yeah. Uh, Scarecrow equals Oppenheimer. Yeah, he plays Scarecrow in Batman. Alright. Shut the fuck up. I base all my actors on Batman roles, okay? It's pronounced Killian. Maybe you should not correct me. Ah, <sighs> uh, all right. Uh, either way, let's see here. Vince Smoker, Tomic, Wilhelm, Friedrich, basically I am Eric, uh, X Fighter, Bullet Watch, DMK Arm, Mr. Wong, and I'm bound with four years in a row. Wow, what a pleasant surprise. He says, H. What's my age again? I don't know. 23. 24 at most. Sure looks like it. Alright, let's check out some motherfucking links, okay? Any good new movies? I think I have time to watch movies, man. I think I have time to watch movies, man. What did I watch? Uh, no, but I have been watching the show. What's it called? What is it called? It's called uh, Gentleman something. Ah. Uh, is it called The Gentleman? The Gentleman, probably. I'm, I'm not done with it, but... Uh, yeah, Shogun... Uh, I'm gonna watch that after. I'm gonna watch that after. So, we'll see, we'll see. The winner gets T. Uh, it's alright. I haven't, I haven't seen any good... Particularly good movie recently. No. No, no, no. Watch Severance. Is it a movie? Can I tell you? I'm a little bit fed up with shows. Uh, takes so fucking long, man. I want some short, consistent. Good movies? Where did they all go? Maybe they're all on the way to Netflix, like Oppenheimer and. I don't know what other movies are out there that I haven't seen. Dune 2, yeah, that's right. Dune 2 and Oppenheimer. On its way into my streaming services. Yeah? Maybe one day? Long have I waited? Okay. There's a local Tekken tournament in Stockholm in a few weeks. Will you go? Are Swedes good at Tekken? <sighs> 
probably decent. I don't know what Swedes play. Like decent at fucking smash, right? Decent at smash melee or used to be. I don't know if they still play. I, I'm all that retired. I don't know if Leffen retired or not. Uh, used to be good at Smash. Did they used to be good at any other fighting game? I don't think so. I think we're we're too busy with uh, team games in Sweden. Team games. Leffen will go. It's gonna be free as fuck. I mean, <laughs> all right. You have to take into consideration, though, that uh, even if you think you have, even if you have like a better rank than Leffen online, offline is a completely different thing. Where all the online friends choke big balls, all right, and with the established tournament players are not even breaking a sweat. So you lose a couple of ranks, all right, in comparison. They do not. They do not. I've seen it many times in many different genres of games, alright? Over my time as a professional video game player. Leffen will compete in Tekken if he can pull up, put up a challenge which is doubtful. I mean, he will be challenged by Tekken, that's for sure. Not necessarily players, maybe, but definitely the devs. The online. It is a shit fest, man. It is indeed. But uh, that doesn't make tournaments worse to watch, because uh, the tournaments, they're, they will be offline, right? They are offline. I think. Actually, I'm not sure anymore if they are offline. Maybe they are still online. You're not playing split screen, or you're not playing on the same screen. I mean, you have like two screens. From what I've seen when I watch Tekken tournaments, one. But I'm not sure. Sometimes they have it, sometimes they do not. All right. Either way, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Evo. It's probably the big Tekken tournament to watch out for. I don't know when that is. Summer time. Summer time. Alright. Let's uh, check some uh, autism links. Surely. Those slimy pieces of shit got away scot free. No prints. No leads. We ain't got shit. Just have them see the scheiße. Who the hell are you? Agent Hitler, FBI. Spoiled in the title. Agent Hitler. FBI. Nintendo eight bit.
I'm sorry, this is so triggering. Not just because of the shit music, but because she got sucked into an 8-bit. And this is a fucking Sonic stage. Is this guy an absolute fucking retard? The Sonic was on the Sega, not on the fucking 8-bit. I'm going to close this video now, because he's so fucking retarded. Mr. Raiden, sir? Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here! <laughs> Hi there, stranger. Hey. You're looking good. Aw, who's your little friend? Oh, it's a long story. Shake? <laughs> good boy! <laughs> uh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry, not really. It's okay. Follow me. So exactly what kind of... You'll see. You built that? Yep. All on her own. Ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition! Hello, Mr. Force. Bud Friend here. A week ago you played a sponsor name called a cast. A new beginning. I clicked at about 15 different points throughout the VOD. And almost all of them were either a cutscene or dialogue. No clarification needed. I was about to, but I guess okay. Yep. Good observation. Suze, thank you for the 17 glass solo with the 6 years, force and mods, GTAB. King Boo made just zero, welcome back as well. 2 years on Joe Carlo. Join the badges, boys, force and you're amazing, force and me. True that, true that. Very true. What's cracking, play? How are you? I'm alright, I'm yeah? alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eating pussy. Chill, what's up? Chill. Up, Just chill. Hey, you a writer, right? Yeah. I, I wrote some shit this morning. I wrote some shit. You know, I write my own lyrics and yeah, shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You want to help me out with it? I, I've never written rap. That's all stuff, right. But... Now, I'm going to see what you got. Okay, go I'm ahead. see what you got, all right? Check this shit out. It's called I'm Coming to Get You. I'm Coming right? to Get You. Okay. Right. 
So you think you're gonna cross me and mess with my shit? Opening your fucking trap and flapping your lip? Well, fuck with me, nigga. You're gonna get dropped. I'll snap off your neck with a crackle and pop. Like oh, I like the Rice Krispies thing, yeah. You got that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Crackle and pop, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you say anything, you'll beg me to die, because I'll make you suck my dick, then I'll nut in your eye. I'll stomp on your world as if my name was Godzilla. I'm coming for you, motherfucker. I'm your crazy eyes killer, you know? And I'm going to be like this in the, in the video, like, you know what I mean? I like it. I got one tiny little comment. What? 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 I would lose the motherfucker at the end, because you already said fuck once. You don't need two fucks. You already got the one fuck. I would change the motherfucker to bitch, because the bitch. Bitch. Yes, because bitch is, is a word that you would use to somebody who, who you don't, re, who you disrespect, right? Isn't that so? That's uh, you my dog. You my nigga. I am. You know what? Yeah. Absolutely. That's right, play. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I like that shit. Okay. Yeah, All I right. like you. I like you, motherfucker. Don't hit me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Um, you like eating pussy? <laughs> you know, it's uh, I'm a little, I like it. I like it, but uh, I'm a little too lazy to do it. Now. It's a whole to do. You know, it hurts lazy. my neck. Yeah, I'm too lazy. You're too lazy to do it. It hurts my neck. You know, man. I get too lazy. Oh to man, you got to eat the pussy, the cooch. Oh yeah. shit, yeah. You know what the best pussy is to eat? Asian pussy. Crazy eyes killer, you gotta you getting married, but one is you know, can't do that anymore. No, 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 I have to do that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? No, I have to eat the pussy. Really? No, I can't live without that shit. You have to eat the yeah, pussy. I have to have all different flavors of pussy. You, you got, got Wanda some Thai, you, you know, got you some can't Thai do it. Shit. Wanda's gonna find out and no, Wanda ain't gonna find out shit. It's between you and my nigga, right? It's between me and Yes, you. I'm your nigga. So yes. how are you gonna find out? Well she ain't gonna find out, ain't she? Not for me. Absolutely not. Yeah, that's right. She ain't gonna find <coughs> She's not gonna right. find out. No. Right, right, right. All right, crazy ass killer. I'm gonna. Uh, I gotta take off. I gotta pick up a script at my friend's house. But All right, I'm gonna see you. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm fucked up. <laughs> Okay. Well, so what do you do? Oh, they're gonna go straight to yep. the force. Yep. Force everything out of them. Again, Nico Baby with those killer instincts that doesn't apply just to heroes, that applies to closing out the game as well. Goes to the back lines, hits GH with the stun, turns into an undying real quickly, DKs them up before he gets the kill onto the Phoenix. Meanwhile, Weehan's just being kited around while the rest of the team focuses on the tier fours. Throne is exposed. BKB is up on Nico Baby, jumps to the other side of things and completely ignores Miracle. Miracle gets out the magnetic field, trying to protect this throne, and it's very difficult to get inside of it. So Nico Baby, he's gonna have a hard time with this. Jumps to the other side, but Seal could still see it. The bubble perfectly matches the throne AoE, and they're just wasting all their time. Finally, the magnetic fields are down. They're gonna focus on the throne. They should be able to finish it up, and oh, one more, a little bit more. They're jumping back and forth, trying to finish it off. The stun goes off on the Morphling. They might actually be able to hold this a little bit longer. FNG, S4 with the second life. He's Swing an automatic magnetic field. Well, it's gonna run sorry, out. what is the ball that goes on the throne? What is protecting the throne there? I don't know what this is. Arc Warden. Okay. He has some bubble that gives evasion. It explodes on him. Another buyback. Nico, baby. He has to go for it. It's all him. All the diebacks. He needs a lot of the ball. Another bad apple. He's serious. He's got a second one coming up, too. He stuns up. They made just a ball dieback. He's actually going to do it. Oh, my God. The throne stays alive. S4 spot back. He's teeping in. He's teeping in. He's hitting the throne. But it's healed up. He has to be dead. He's not the dieback. They've all bought back. They've all died back. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Sumail.
still has a lot of damage on his side, but Ehome just marching down. And EG might just not have the bodies to do this. The Ice Blast is up now to jump forward. Old Chicken, he goes for side. Hopefully, he'll be able to stop that pesky disruption, but Force Staff gives some space. Daggins, oh, Double he goes down! Daggins. Triple Daggins! They take out Old Chicken! The Beastmaster's dead! Old Chicken still alive though. Juggernaut is good to go. He's gonna be able to take that melee rex. Range rex up next. Melee already down. Ice Blast coming in. Is this range rack? That's gonna be Mega, and they just kill PPD. Evil Nobody PPD. is has buyback anymore except this warlock. Ehom gonna be incredibly satisfied, but they want to keep pushing forward. They know that this void and this axe can't help out. If they can catch the mail for PPD, there's gonna be another hero with no buyback. The disruption save from Zai. Can they get PPD out? He gets a force tap away, but no! The extra damage comes out from the warlock as the fatal bonds eliminates him. But Zai, Zai, Zai! He almost dies! They're there, but they're attacking! Zai gets him! They hold! Mega Creeps incoming, but evil geniuses will stand strong for now against up now the dang it. Still lose the game. All of these videos with the clutch holds, they still lose the game afterwards. It's just cut out. Or he's back at the radiant space. He's already taken down one of the tier fours, and he's trying to get PPD. But evil genius is pool top collected. They're holding the defense here again. If they kill the chicken here, he'll get the ice box. Five down. One five back, and that's only the warlock. It's only Mega Creeps and Warlock who could defend this. Evil geniuses. Have they just done it? Does not have a beast monster too? EG, this team just does not quit. They're gonna go down this mid lane. They're gonna start with the illusions on universe. This army by himself gonna be able to do it and this axe in 30 short short seconds gonna be able to respawn. Ehome gonna have to hold for 90 seconds without this jug. They're starting to make their way down. Evil Are they actually gonna be able to do this? They're halfway through. They've crossed over the river. They're about to go high ground, but Beastmaster and Warlock are about to come back. Evil geniuses. They can't end this game yet. They're gonna try though. They're gonna try for the boots of travel and a divine rank here. The all three universe, they know this is the end game scenario. 60 seconds without this jug. E home. Can they hold EG? Confident they can. Mir coming up as well. The tier four is being beaten on. It begins the jump four. The male already going on the rear. No chaotic offering and I'm glad the dragon turns and take him out. E home. Then revives back to the tier four. The throw is going down. The throw is down. They don't have enough time. Clutch bug. Yeah. Very nice. Just gonna sneak by you there. Excuse us. Coming through.
adventure for the evening. Welcome to our gilded paradise, the Gold Saucer. Dio, our director. And you, sir, are... Cloud. Well, Cloud, shall we duel? Let's go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? You can do this, Cloud. Why is red 13 black in this game? I mean, his name is literally Red. guy then proceeds to beat the fuck out of this villain he like he fucking destroys him holy shit and that scene was pretty great but uh my main problem with it is that he's really only fighting like two guys at the same time it's not enough guys the guy's index is at an all-time low don't worry though this next scene has a slightly more percentage of guys in it now this scene i actually didn't see as a child i actually found it on youtube years later it's from a movie called gajendra but the version i found on youtube was from the hindi dub of the movie rather than the original tamil this scene really stuck with me because of how compassionate and caring the main character is now it opens up the villains have beaten up some poor disabled kids and then our hero ever passionate comes in and against all odds feeds him water <laughs> they're just beating the shit out of him <laughs> This goes on for a bit, but then as soon as his services are no longer required, he goes. Hog wild. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Wow. You see, the thing is, and I don't want to sound like an asshole here, but it's just, you know... 
He's, he's not in amazing shape or anything. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, for a regular person, he looks fine. But for a guy fighting, like, 20 dudes at a time, he's gotta be, like, seven foot tall abs on his biceps, you know what I'm saying? And every time, it's always the same thing. It's always one dude versus, like, a million guys with sticks, if they're lucky. Usually, they just, 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 just put them up. Just put them up for an old-fashioned fist fight, you know? Well, after carnage ensues, uh, India Man then proceeds to take out the main with villain biceps, with this man. fantastic move. Punch with your fucking triceps. <laughs> He's using an excavator! He killed him with an excavator! Hello, Hirohira Araki, creator of the manga JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Uh, take notes, honey. Alright, once again, you know, decent scene, good amount of ridiculousness, decent guy's capacity, but uh, one complaint, there's not enough guys. He really just wasn't fighting enough guys at the same time. Honestly, it's a damn shame. They really should have included more guys for him to fight simultaneously, honestly. <laughs> Yes, now this is what I'm talking about. Look at all those guys. I can't wait to see how he kills them. Now, just before the fight starts, there's this one line that he says that I want you guys to listen to. Uh, it's in Tamil, but I'll translate for you guys. Don't worry. Holy shit! Did you hear that? Who says that, man? Who can say that? India man can. Then after that happens, uh, our hero does this move. Dude, there are like 50 guys there. How did you stop them with two hands? You see, that's what I love about these movies. There's never a reason for his power. Like in American movies, they'll tell you. They'll be like, oh yes, in the past he was genetically engineered, trained in 50 million styles of martial arts. But in Indian movies, it's just some guy. He is a software engineer in canon. He's just a regular guy. Watch what he does next. Watch this. You know, as a teenager, I was pretty into anime, and I always wondered why it appealed to me so much. Now I know... It's because this is what I grew up with. This shit is like anime on crack. The absolute velocity of this man. Now this actor is actually extremely popular in India. His name is Rajnikanth, and this movie is in is called Sivaji. It's probably genuinely my favorite Tamil movie I've ever seen. You see, it's about a guy who doesn't like how the poor are being mistreated in India. So he beats the shit out of a bunch of businessmen. <laughs> really, it's really good. Now here's the big twist of it all though. No twist. That's all. Saxy thing with four years. Four years, he says. Super Saiyan Nate, Bruce Seven. And uh, Noel Nadal, tier 3 and Nutri Cooler, 50 months, thank you man. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sean. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one website building tool. I've read about this idea that uh, we're all traveling through space-time at the speed of light. But the problem in most resources that I found was that, first of all, it just told me that, but I and I don't like it. I want to discover things myself. I like to piece things together and then come up with a conclusion myself. I think that's one of the richest way to learn science. But more importantly, I did not see a broader significance of that until a few weeks ago. I finally started reading this book called Relativity Visualized by Lewis Epstein. And thank you because one of you, a few of you actually recommended that for me. And I think that has started to blow my mind away because for one, it does exactly that. It helped me discover by piecing things together as to why we say um, that things are traveling through space time at the speed of light and what does it really mean but more importantly, it showed me some true, incredible, explanatory power it had. I mean, I was able to see time dilation, link contraction, relativity of simultaneity, even twins paradox, all of it, just like in, in, in a very brand new perspective. And that's not, that's not all. It was also able to help me 
ponder upon some of the most deepest questions of physics like why do we have three dimensions of space and just one dimension of time? Or why is it that I can move freely back and forth through space, but I am always a prisoner of the current present now when it comes to time? So I am now super excited to share this with you. And if you are as well, let's get started. So Luis, where do we start? Luis says, let's take a concrete analogy. We have an aeroplane and let's imagine in this world, the aeroplane will always move at a constant speed of one meter per second. Okay, so in the first one second, let's say the aeroplane moves straight up. So that's one meter. Then in the next one second, let's say the aeroplane moves that way, another one meter. And in the last one second, let's say the aeroplane moves horizontally to the right, okay? But now, what if we were to look at the same thing one more time, but by putting some lights and we were to focus on the shadow that the aeroplane formed? What would be the speed of that shadow in each of these seconds? Well, let's see. So in the first one second, that shadow is at rest. In the next one second, it starts moving, so it speeds up a little bit, so it starts moving with some speed. And then in the last one second, it speeds up even more, it moves even faster. Now, here's the big question. Imagine there was a couple of shadow people. You can imagine them to be two-dimensional beings who thought that their world was two-dimensional. That's it, they, didn't, they couldn't comprehend the third dimension. So for all they know, that shadow is an actual object. So what would they be seeing and how would they be perceiving things? Well, let's see. From their perspective, they would say in that first one second, that shadow was at rest. It didn't move at all, that object is not moving. Um, in the next one second, that object says, hey, they start, it started moving a little bit. And then they say, oh, it, it's moving even faster. So they see that object accelerating. Now, you and I know what's really going on. We understand that really that object is traveling at the same speed in three dimensions. But since that shadow only represents a two-dimensional projection, that's why that shadow will have variable speed. But they don't know that. In fact, if they could see that shadow long enough and the plane kept on moving and twisting and turning, but all the while maintaining that constant speed of one meter per second, they will eventually realize that shadow keeps moving, but it will have a maximum speed of one meter per second. And they would be wondering why that would be the case. In fact, they would realize that in this world, everything has a speed limit. Their universe has a speed limit of one meter per second. Nobody can break through it. They'll postulate it, but they'll have absolutely no idea why that's happening. So do you see what Lewis is foreshadowing over here? Four. Just like those two dimensional shadow people, we think that there is a speed limit in our universe, the speed of light, and nothing can go faster than light. But maybe that's because we're seeing a three-dimensional shadow of what's really happening in four-dimensional space-time. Maybe everything in the space-time is moving, just like that aeroplane, at a constant speed, always at the speed of light. But because we are seeing a projection of it in our, in, in our universe, we perceive it as a speed limit. But maybe it's not the case. Maybe everything is moving at the speed of light. Okay. So we can now begin to see where this idea stems from, right? Okay. But we are far away from accepting this idea as of now. Because remember, this is science. Unlike in religion, we don't just accept ideas. In fact, one of the best ways to deeply understand science is to be a skeptic and always try to figure out what if, like try to counter it, try to, try to refute it from different, different angles. So that's what we'll do. So we should at this point look at Lewis and say, Lewis, cool story, bro. But how can, but how can we validate this? I mean, is there a way that these shadow people can actually somehow validate that from their perspective? That indeed that there's a bigger world out there and objects may be traveling at a constant speed? Because if these shadow people cannot validate it, then we have no idea of valid. I mean, we will not be able to validate it, right? And then it'll just remain a story with no reason to have any confidence in it, right? And so this is where Louis says, maybe they can. I'm like, how? How could these shadow people ever hope to understand that there could be a bigger world out there? Like, how would they do that? Well, the key over here is to imagine a second shadow on a wall perpendicular to this first shadow. Now, I know what you're thinking at this point. I'm, I, I'll, I'm also having the same thought. Luis, what's the point of having to look at this shadow? Because these folks are stuck in their two dimensions, right? They will not be able to perceive the shadow or look at that shadow. So what's the point in looking at that? And Louis says, well, you're right, but remember, just like us, who we are stuck in our three dimensions and uh, we cannot see time, but we can still measure the flow of time with our clocks. Clocks, right? <laughs> Similarly, what if they cannot see the shadow, but somehow they can measure how quickly that shadow is moving. They can measure the speed of that shadow somehow, okay? then would they be able to you know, use the speed of this shadow and then use the speed of this shadow, which they can easily see, and then piece it all together and see there's something deeper going on over here? 
Well, let's find out. Let's find out if we can do that. So now let's relook at this whole thing in its whole glory now <laughs> by looking at a couple of shadows and let's track keep track of both the shadows, speed of both the shadows. All right. So in the first one second. That's not really a good comparison though. Like uh, using a third dimension and comparing it to speed as a fourth dimension for us. Oh, sorry, time. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. Come on, give up the juice. Be really, be really cute and coy with that. Cause you're a good spy, all right? How, how would she be cute? Like, how would you do it if you were being cute? Oh, that is cute. Can you do that? Can you be as cute as Steve? Uh... That was good. That was good. So close, but so Everybody takes it feel like a step away from me. <laughs> Pretty cute, Trip. Pretty cute. Because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. Is it possible for a teenage girl to drink water upside down? I'm thirsty. It's not possible. What? Maybe if you aim. This morning I was taking out the garbage and I found a dirty cat. A dirty cat. So we're going to bathe that cat. This is cat. Hi. Tell him what's going to happen now, cat. I'm going to get bathed. <laughs> Taking a bath with your clothes on. It's not a very good idea. Cielo, KG128, one of nine months. Asylum Ray, welcome back, boys and girls, of course. Uh, two years on Moimt, Junior Badge, Happy Anniversary, V, 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 V. I think we are good there with the links. Links! Yes, thank God. Thank God. New PUBG update, he says. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's possible, it's possible. Uh, I wanted to watch some of the uh, major elimination stage going on right now. You getting it? You getting it? He's cooking. Yeah. Uh, seven minutes until the next map. 
Easy. Look, you were worried. Yeah, because on the left, it's like, like maybe like, like something memorial like for them. Like ice cream. Yeah. Burn something to put yep. it in, in yep. the sky. And, yep. Yeah. On to the next one. Uh, circus, pony, double pony. They're not there. <laughs> uh, a horse that is very culturally yeah. relevant for this team. Oh, yeah. From the country they're in. <laughs> you can give me this crew, I have no idea which country have th this. Um, it's from Europe or like. Not Europe. Not Europe? Not Europe. Uh, so that's. Mongols. Yeah, yeah, well done. Yeah. There we go. Mongols, yeah, I remember it. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll start. You're, you're doing better, you're doing better. Uh, I don't know, for me it's like a nerd emoji. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like nerd emoji? With this a lot maybe of like in football or maybe like something like this. In CS? In CS maybe. But also on the left. Complexity versus vitality. Yeah, <laughs> they have a very nerdy smart player yeah, in the game. Very into the CS2 changes and updates and computers and everything. I would say ropes, kind of. Is it? Maybe face them? What? Ta -da! Okay. Okay, this one. King, beige, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's gonna be the name of it. Maracas. Maracas. Uh, so it has to be Brazilian. I mean, it has to be sunny. It's not Copenhagen, of course. It's not uh. France, not France. So it's not pain because I have it already. Mm -hmm. I like to say Imperial. <laughs> Imperial <then. laughs> I like to say them, I don't know why. The because I just playing before, so. Yeah, and it's the uh, Imperial crown in yeah, there. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we're on to the last one. Uh, like. Uh, oh! Wait, ecstatic carnival versus G2 yeah, one, yeah. going on as well. Uh, the first for me, it's like. Uh, G2, carnival. they are yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Here we chica, go. Chica. Uh, DNA. I mean, the okay. One, I, mean, I don't know the name in English. So. Scroll. Scroll. Okay. Then it has to be. It's not pain. It's not Imperial. But there is Legacy. Ah, uh, which one, which one is better? Complexity versus Vitality oh, so or Static <laughs> versus G2? <laughs> Six and two. Why is not this? Which ah, one? <laughs> you did it. You got that. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. G2. Six in a row for G2 there, picking up steam. The rounds are getting more dominant, They're being more active. Anubis, Again, map. A mid attempt. They've got a lot of util here. They're just going to bung it in mid, send it with pistols and MAC 10s. Try and put pressure on this A site. But a temple smoke from Rugs.